NASA has come up with several concepts as well as designs for the space stations of the future that have not yet come to fruition. But what if I say the concept drawing of these future space stations had already been done before? Are you going to believe me? Let's find out about them. Nurdong's Habitat Wheel This vision of a space station habitat wheel was created by Hermann Nurdong in the year 1929, long before man had set foot on the moon. The technical drawing of Nurdong's Habitat Wheel first drawing of a space station. By collecting sunlight through the mirror, which will be placed in the center, the space station will be able to generate its power, and this is something that Nurdong envisioned. There were three parts in total that would make up the full space station, and this habitat wheel was just one part of those three parts. And if it wasn't for Nurdong, then we wouldn't have known about its habitat wheel. Spider Space Station Concept The technical drawing for the Spider Space Station concept was drawn in the year 1977. The design, which seems unusual to whoever looks into it, intended to use space shuttle hardware as part of its assembly, allowing easy construction as well as assembly of the space station, and also including areas for crew habitat and center for space operations, was the only idea behind the design. Inflatable Space Station The inflatable space station was the one that went out of the concept drawing stage as it was pushed into the production stage as well whereas the other space stations which are on this list weren't able to go out of the concept drawing phase and thus remain in the concept phase only. When this station was in orbit, it was intended to be inflated in outer space. The idea of inflatable space stations came up again in the 1990s after originating in the 1960s. Brick Moon Space Station Concept The Brick Moon concept was from the year 1869. It was the first proposal known for an Earth-orbiting satellite. Have you heard about the North Star? North Star works as a navigational aid for the mariners as they help in guiding them home. And this satellite was originally intended to work as the North Star, which is a navigational aid. Interesting, isn't it? Nordong's three-unit space station concept. Hermann Nordong was the one who was behind the concept of the Nordong three-unit space station. The space station had three units which included a habitat, a machine room and an observatory. And all of these three units were connected via umbilical-like tubing. Orbit and Launch Facility Concept The concept drawing of the Orbit and Launch Facility is a nuclear-powered space station that had four decks that could be split into laboratory space, operations, living quarters and more. This nuclear-powered space station is another space station on our list which had the facilities for the servicing as well as the launch of spacecraft and also the technology for artificial gravity capabilities. Skylab Concept of George Mueller George E. Mueller, who was the NASA Associate Administrator for Manned Space Flight, was the one who drew the Skylab concept. It was on August 19, 1996, that the concept drawing was created by Mueller at the Marshall Space Flight Center. The concept drawing of this space station has some details of its major elements. The station came to be known as Skylab in the year 1970. In total, three Skylab missions, which were manned, were flown. And also, there were experiments which were conducted in the fields of space science, earth resources, life sciences, space technology and student projects. Roof Space Station Concept The Roof Space Station concept was done by the Johnson Space Center in 1984. The Roof Space Station was covered with solar array cells in the concept drawing and the cells were designed to help the station with power generation. And there would be five modules in the finished station that will be used for various purposes like living quarters, space, for a laboratory and other facilities too. Three Radial Module Space Station Concept The Three Radial Module Space Station was intended to utilize a polished space rocket hardware to deploy the station as well as to transfer crews to and from orbit. This multi-module, multi-purpose station is a simple concept space station. These were all the futuristic concept designs of the various space stations, and if these become a reality, then we would see people traveling beyond the gravitational pull of the Earth. Do you think space stations would be a reality? And if it becomes a reality, will you travel to space station? Let us know in the comment section below.